What up, y'all? It's the show off DJ Static Selector. We getting real monstrous on Rapzilla.com. Let's get it. What up, y'all? It's the show off DJ Static Selector. My new album, Population Control, drops October 25th. Y'all might know me from rocking with Nas, Q-Tip, Shade 45, that's Eminem Satellite Station. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. This is my fourth solo album. All kinds of cats on there, but specifically, shout out to my man Lecrae. I know that's, you know, a lot of his fans are watching this right now. Shout out to him. And uh, I'm excited. The way I met Lecrae is, um, I started to see his name certain places and I was like, who is this guy? And then one day uh, I had a project out at the time and I wanted to see where my, where my album was on the chart. And I looked and all of a sudden this guy Lecrae is number one. So I'm like, wait a second, this guy got the, he's like above Kanye, Nicki Minaj and all that. So I'm like, what's up with this? So uh, I went on YouTube and typed in his name and some of his videos came up and they had like, you know, million plus views. I was like, wow, I'm like this dude can really rap. Like I, I obviously figured out real quick that he was a Christian rapper. And I'm not gonna lie, I've only been up on a couple of Christian rap acts, but so I gave him, you know, I gave him a listen and all of a sudden I'm like, damn, this dude can really rap. Like, you know what I wanna do? I wanna bring him up to Shade 45. So I was like, I went to uh, Google, I typed in Lecrae and Twitter, his Twitter came up, I hit him up like Yo, you wanna come up to the station? And he hit me back, like, yeah, man. So he came through, he came through to New York, came through the studio, and I was like, yo, while we're at it, man, I'm trying to showcase a lot of the new talent, you know, in hip hop. I played him a beat, I thought it fit him, and he picked it, and we went on. Now we got a record called Live and Let Live. I mean, the second part of that question nails it because as long as someone's dope and they can rap and the music's good, then you know, look at Lecrae. I think he's he's he has more of a potential to cross over into mainstream hip hop than anyone yet. But uh, I think people are just ready for good music, and the reason that Christian rap, what you know, whatever you want to call it, is separated from the mainstream rap is because a lot of times it can be real preachy. And the thing that makes Lecrae ill is he can put his message across. He can be Christian. He can you know he can set his tone without making making it too preachy, and I think that's why Lecrae is real dope, and his skills speak for itself, you know? A lot of hip-hop is Christian as it is, and I mean, no one's gonna take offense to that. I mean, Muslim people should give him the same listen that anyone else should, as a Jewish person or anybody else. He's preaching, you know, the good word as, as far as positive energy and to be a good person. I mean, that's the overall message, I think. And I mean, I don't see why anyone would not give him a listen. That's like saying I can't listen to Freeway because he's Muslim and I'm not. But I'm not listening to, um, you know, a Drake because he's Jewish and I'm not. Right after I heard about him and I heard his music, I had found that sample and I, um, I started chopping it up and I knew immediately that was the record for him. So as soon as I made it, I knew it was him. That was easy. Growing up, I actually was a big fan of this group called uh, The Grits. And I, I'm pretty sure they were from uh, like North Carolina, South Carolina or something. But they had a bunch of joints that I liked. So I used to play their stuff back in the day. But um, as far as, you know, things being labeled Christian rap, this is my uh, second encounter, really. Any thoughts uh, collaborating with Lecrae on the album in the future? I mean, Lecrae, I know you're watching this, man. Let's go. Let's do an EP or something. Put it out. Maybe we'll do a live one with XXL or something. So I'm excited to work more with Lecrae. We're definitely going to do it. Being your producer, who are the top five greatest producers of all time? Top five in no order would have to be DJ Premier, Dr. Dre, Pete Rock, Jay Dilla, and probably Q-Tip. And there's a lot of other people that ain't in that list that I want to put. Like Alchemist and the Neptunes and, you know, outside hip-hop, Quincy Jones. There's so many people I can name, but those are like my top five. October 11th, we got the exclusive world premiere, Static Selected featuring Lecrae, Live and Let Live. The single will be on iTunes that day. The stream will be on Rapzilla. Make sure you check it out. Shout out to Rapzilla.